Hey everyone, it's Ian Norman from Lonely Spec, and today I want to talk about Film Spec Pro, our premium Lightroom preset pack that was just announced on LonelySpec.com. I've been making this preset pack for the last two years. It has a bunch of tools that I use on my astrophotos to achieve various different types of looks. A lot of the stuff that you see on Lonely Spec uh, over the last year has actually been edited with this particular preset pack. So I'm going to run through how I use FilmSpec Pro on one of my recent photographs. This is a photograph from New Zealand. This was taken at the Mount John Observatory in Tekapo on the South Island. I'll just walk through some of the editing steps that I would use on this particular photo uh, and how we use FilmSpec Pro to sort of achieve the, the, the type of look that we would want. Okay, so I've opened this photograph up in Adobe Lightroom, and I've navigated to the Develop module. And the first thing to understand about these presets is what adjustments they affect. Um, there's two particular adjustments that the presets will not change, and those are exposure and white balance. So the first thing that we want to do before we start applying the presets is neutralize our exposure and neutralize our white balance. For the exposure, it's sort of up to a personal preference thing, and different presets will respond to different brightness photos uh, in slightly different ways. Um, but basically, we want a photograph that has a relatively neutral look about it. Uh, we want to make sure that we're not completely blowing out the highlights and that we still have a little bit of detail uh, down on the ground. So I'm just going to lift the exposure of this photo photograph a little bit with the exposure slider. Now the next step is white balance and one of the cool things about FilmSpec Pro is that I've included a set of white balance tools that will help you achieve a, a particular color balance look for your image and uh, the first one that I usually go to is this one over here called Astro White Balance. And Astro White Balance is calibrated specifically for astrophotos. If you just click on the zero level Astro White Balance, it'll usually give you a perfectly balanced astrophoto. Now there's a number of different things that uh, will affect your white balance, like the presence of light pollution. And the Astro White Balance tool has various different levels of strength. There's a cooler variant of it, as well as a warmer variant of it, and several different steps in between. And depending on the type of look that you want for your photo, I've also included different white balance tools. There's one called Air Glow that gives kind of a slightly more green tinge to your photos. There's one called Lunar White Balance, which will give you a slightly warmer look to your images. And that's particularly useful when there's a partial moon out uh, turning your skies blue. It really gives it a nice balanced look. And then there's a final one called Nebula. And Nebula gives you sort of a more pinkish and purple balanced photograph uh, to really accentuate the purple nebula in an image. But for this photograph, I particularly like the balanced look of the Astro white balance setting uh, right at the neutral setting, so I'm going to use that. And, and that tends to be the one that I use most often. Okay, so now that we have our photograph neutrally balanced in terms of color, and we've sort of leveled the exposure for a nice even tone across the image, uh, we can go ahead and start using the actual Film Spec Pro filters and try to step through what kind of look that we want for our image. FilmSpec Pro has 17 different styles, and each of those styles has different variations within them. So, for example, this preset called Acadia has a fairly cool sort of metallic look to it, and there's three different variations of Acadia. There's the straight Acadia filter, and then there's some with a stronger contrast curve. Acadia S uses a slightly steeper S-curve on the contrast curve, giving it brighter highlights and darker shadows. And Acadia S Plus brings it to yet another level with even stronger highlights and even darker shadows. So for each and every preset, we can tailor the particular look to our image. Most of the presets tend to increase the contrast of an image just slightly. And one of the downsides with uh, increasing the contrast in your image is that sometimes you'll tend to lose details in the shadows of your image. And one of the great ways to sort of balance that out is to use a graduated filter. So with FilmSpec Pro, I've also included graduated filter tools uh, 
that are basically pre-programmed to bring down the brightness of the sky and increase the contrast that we see. My favorite ones to use are these contrast grad filters. They're available in various different levels of strength depending on the, the dynamic range of your image and how much pulling of the sky that you really want to use. But just an application of like a 0.3, like a third of a stop graduated filter can really bring out a lot of contrast in the sky and sort of balance the sky with the ground. So I'm going to apply that contrast grad and then actually bring up the exposure yet again in our image to sort of bring out some of the detail in the ground. So there's 10 different levels of graduated filters. Uh, five of them are a contrast driven graduated filter that actually amplify the contrast of the sky. And then the other five are a, sort of a more traditional uh, graduated filter that just pulls down the brightness of the sky. And you can edit those by entering the graduated filter tool over here or by pressing M and that will bring up uh, this little dot in the center of the image where you can adjust the position of the graduated filter. By default it's set to the center of the image which tends to be good for most astrophoto uh, compositions but if you're composing a whole lot more sky you can drag the filter down or uh, if you're composing with less sky you can drag it up. Um, so you can just sort of adjust it to your personal preference. So I think we have a, a relatively well balanced image here and uh, I, I just want to step through a few more of the filters um, just to sort of give you an idea of the, the various different looks that we're able to achieve. So as we scroll down through the filters, we can see the image in the top left navigator change. So we have a whole bunch of different types of looks we can achieve. Um, like Badwater, for instance, gives us a really sort of warm look with slightly teal shadow areas. This one's kind of cinematic looking. Um, I also have one down here I really want to show. Uh, which is called Spruce Knob. The Spruce Knob preset uses a technique that I've been using on my Astro Photos lately um, that specifically targets you know, some of the, the yellows and oranges that you usually get on the horizon of the image, and it shifts them towards a more red and crimson look. And that can really give an Astro Photo a really appealing mood. Spruce Knob is definitely one of my favorite presets in the FilmSpec Pro Pack. So some of the variations of any given preset employ what I'm calling a crush curve. And one of, one of the benefits of this particular type of contrast curve, uh, for one, it does look a little bit more print-like, but it also helps hide some of the noise that we have in the shadows of our astrophotos. This sort of crushed contrast curve brings me to one of the final tools in the Film Spec Pro pack, and that's the contrast curves tool. There are six variations on the contrast curve that I've pre-programmed here. We have the C crush curve uh, like I was showing you before and we also have the S curve which is a high contrast uh, non-lifted black point curve and we have three different variations of that S curve available. So that's a way that we can achieve the various contrast looks of any given preset without changing things like vibrance or color. Uh, so in total, there are 94 preset filters, and those presets comprise 17 basic visual styles that you see here, all named after places that we've visited and really love, and all of which are really great places for astrophotography. So once again, our preset pack is called Film Spec Pro, and like all Lonely Spec products, we've made it available with a 100% satisfaction guarantee, and you can download them today at LonelySpec.com.